Hey, I'm Donald Bell for Cool Tools, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at wire strippers. A ridiculous amount of wire strippers. This isn't even all of them. And I'll say this right off the bat, that in my opinion, the best wire stripper out there is the one that you are the most familiar with. It's one of those tools that you really just develop a muscle memory for. That said, it's good to know what's out there, what to look for, and what to avoid. Hopefully we can do that for you in this video. And like any Cool Tools video, you can find Amazon links to everything I'm talking about down here in the description. Let's start with something a lot of us probably already have. Here are two examples of manual wire strippers. These Hacko CHP ones here, I've probably owned for 10 years. And nine times out of 10, these are what I'd reach for when I'm working on electronics. They don't take up much room, they're lightweight, and they lock up to go in your pocket. They handle 20 gauge all the way down to 30 gauge, and also work as cutters and pliers. If you work on electronics and you don't have something like these handy, you did something wrong. I also like that the spring action here allows you to open and close it with one hand. Most of these options I'll show you will spring open like this, but not these. These eight inch wire strippers from Irwin are intended for electrical work and thicker solid core wire. There are a ton of interesting features packed in here, crimpers, pliers, screw cutters, Unfortunately, these are practically useless for me. I rarely work with electrical, and when I do, I prefer a spring-loaded option that I can operate with one hand. With these, you have to awkwardly flick them open every time you want to use them. I'll admit that I bought these by accident because they come up as an Amazon choice for wire strippers, but what I didn't know is that the page bundles together three different models, and the more useful, popular models are the 6-inch and 7-inch ones that have a spring grip. So watch out for that. But really, if there's a vice grip wire stripper to seek out, it's this one. For around $20, this self-adjusting model is, in my experience, the gold standard for this type of tool at this price. I've got four other variations and a similar design that I'll compare it against, but first let me show you how these work if you've never seen one before. The self-adjusting action on these makes it so that when you place a wire in these within a common range, in this case 10 to 24 gauge, the jaws will automatically apply just the right amount of pressure to pull the sheath from the wire. And because it's more of a clamp and pull motion, not so much about the cutting, these are less likely to damage your wire in the process. The other really cool feature of this design is the adjustable backstop. If you've got a job where you need to make 10 or 1,000 identical lengths of wire with a half inch of sheathing removed from each end, you can set this so that you're removing the exact same amount of sheath each time. It makes your work much more consistent. The other elements here are a tensioner so that you can dial the grip up or down a bit for better results. There's also a relatively sharp cutter and a good range of crimping options. Now what makes this specific model so great in my opinion are the small details. They're easier to squeeze so your hand doesn't tire out as fast. The range of wire gauges is actually etched into the metal here instead of painted on the handle. And you get a half inch and quarter inch reference etched in here for the stop block. For reference, here it is cutting and stripping 10 gauge stranded wire, and here it is with the kind of 24 gauge stranded wire I use for electronics. Now let's compare this to a more generic option from a brand called Zoto, though I only know that brand name from the Amazon page. There's no logo on the tool or on the package that it came in, so I think it's fair to expect that this is being sold under a number of different brand names. At $17, you're not even saving that much money. It's the same idea, only the action is a little stiffer, the cutter is on the dull side, and the crimper cutouts aren't what I'm used to. But the biggest difference is that the stripper head is really sharp. It does the job, but it might damage your wires. Here it is on 10 gauge, and here it is with the 24 gauge. Next up, here's a version from Klein Tools. These were $2 more than the Irwin, and Klein has a good reputation for quality, but I was a little disappointed by these. The action here was the stiffest out of all of the ones I tested, and I think part of that is due to this nice sharp cutter in the handle that has these overlapping blades that add just a bit more friction. They also added a feature on here that you think would be great, but surprisingly isn't. Instead of using the plastic stop block design that everyone else seems to, Klein went with a metal block. In theory, this would work better and last longer, but in practice, it comes loose pretty easily and the weight of it flops down and becomes annoying. Now, if you have some pliers handy, you can use those to really tighten it down and it will stay put, but then it can be a pain when you need to adjust it later. It's also worth pointing out that the client model doesn't include crimpers. Here it is on 10 gauge wire, and here it is with 24. Next up, a $15 option from WorkPro. These are very similar to the vice grip, but $5 less. 
The differences I can see are that the cutter is a bit dull, the crimper is that less familiar design, the markings are painted on, not etched, and the action is a little stiffer. It's not the end of the world, but with the better tool only $5 away, it seems kind of silly. So here it is with 24 gauge wire, and here it is with 10, and look what happens. It's actually slipping on the 10 gauge, and this is with it all the way tightened down. So if you're looking for a wire stripper to use with larger gauge wire like this, skip this option. Finally for this type, here's an option from Gardner Bender, $22, no stop block, and no tension adjustment. The cutter has a decent edge to it, but overall, I have no reason to recommend this one. Here it is with 10 gauge wire, and here it is with 24. Now that self-adjusting design pops up everywhere, but it's not the only game in town. You'll also see options like this and this. This style is cheap but effective. I picked these up for $14. The action comes down like two sets of teeth. The front teeth hold the wire down while the back teeth bite into the sheathing and pull it away. There's a dial on the back here that adjusts the force of the back teeth. And you also get a stop block adjustment here for the length you want to remove. Down here in the handle, there's also a cutter. Though it's not my favorite because it moves around and isn't very accurate. Still, for $14, these are better than you'd think they'd be. They have a nice easy action. The downside is that the way they separate the sheathing is less delicate and leads to some wire damage, especially on smaller gauge wire. Here's what it looks like on 10 gauge wire, and here it is with 24. Finally, there's this type of automatic wire stripper, and it's not really self-adjusting because you need to place your wire in the right cutout for your gauge, but what makes these great is that the die for the blades here is perfectly sized to cut the precise amount of sheathing away from the wire in every direction. The downside is that you can really only fit a limited range of gauges in this design. This one by ideal goes from 26 to 16. And this one from Grizzly, honestly I can't even read what the gauges are, but it's generally a larger set of wire gauges. Now you could probably swap out the die if you had to, but it seems like an unnecessary hassle. The other downside, as you can see here, is that these can rust up in a way that makes them practically unusable. All that said, it is a satisfying tool to use. It does a clean job. It's smaller than these bigger self-adjusting options and easier to squeeze. So there you go. That's a survey of the different types of wire strippers you'll find out there, and they look at some of the specific models you'll find on Amazon. If I had to narrow it down to one or two recommendations, I still think these little manual hacko wire strippers are the way to go for any one-off electronic work. For everything else, I think the Irwin self-adjusting model is the best balance of price and quality, and it works with a wide range of wire gauges. Of course, you can find Amazon links to every option shown here down in the video description, and you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools like these at cool-tools.org.